You are listening to the Hot Breath Podcast. I am your host, comedian Joel Byers, and welcome to your weekly guide to comedy mastery. With Desi it's like Just doing that, that little piece of professionalism. Ah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's uh, that makes a big difference in but this that, game. I like these mics. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Podcast. Nice. This is a blues. Blue Encore 200s. Yeah. Dope, bro. You like that? It matches. It matches the yeah, shirt. Yeah, bro. The, like I'm just you gleam. You bling bro, I'm about it. To take this on stage, bro. Yeah, I thought you were about to say I'm about to take this. I thought that's what you were about to say. Let me hold something. That is. <laughs> uh, dope. Yeah, and I got you some water too. Thank that's you, for right. you, dog. Yeah, I need some distance. This is Fontis. This is our our water sponsor. I like it, bro. This is uh, Georgia spring water from the Blue Ridge Mountains. They got. I can taste the mountain. You taste the mountain in that. That's good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> We collaborated on some labels. They do custom labels and stuff. So we out here. See, we're doing big things. Oh, yeah, man. It, it looks like it looked like we were in a hospital before I went and stole yeah. this tree from yeah, next door. Yeah, I started to sign in. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, thanks for doing this. Almost definitely, bro. Seriously, I feel like with this setup, it's like we're in between two ferns or between two Joels right now. I feel yeah. like I need to introduce the show. Most definitely. It's like, hey, y'all, welcome to Hot Breath Podcast. <laughs> We're here with my guest, Desi Banks. Desi Banks, welcome to the Hot Breathiverse. Hey, how you doing, my brother? Hey, welcome, hey, welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, you know I'm that. asking you thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for having that. Dude, you are, you are red hot right now, hey, my friend. slow down. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay, you know, become hot, you know. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah? You're not, you're not, you don't think you're even bubbling uh, yet? I'm, probably, I'm bubbling. Okay. You know, but I haven't, you know, got to where I want to be yet, you know, mm-hmm. that, you know, as far as build into where I'm trying to go. Yeah, and know, hold the mic. Um, yeah. Because we're know. in a hospital, so the closer yeah, we hold it, the less it'll echo and, and everything. Yeah, you people know. having babies. and See, we ain't, we ain't made it yet. We out here just <laughs> doing interviews where we can. There you go. I'm in yeah. here just stealing plants. Like, Desi will understand. <laughs> Desi will understand. So you're clearly, like, how old are you? 25. 25, yeah. yeah. So, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm you're so... I'm trying to still pop in the cherry. You're so young, dude. Yeah. Which I'm sure you hear. Is like, oh, you're yeah. so young, you kids or whatever. But yeah. I'm fe- I feel like I'm 35. Oh, why so? <laughs> I don't know. I guess because I've been so into it, you know, ever since I started. Yeah. You know, like so. 2012, right? Yeah. When you hit on Vine? Yeah. And the first video you do goes viral. It's crazy. What? Yeah. Dude, how is that predestined? I, I don't mean- know. And, you know, when it happened, I was just like, wait a minute. Like, this is really happening. And my friend uh-huh. was like, you might as well just keep going now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just stayed consistent. I just kept going and, you know, started building that, you know, that fan base. You know, mm-hmm. so and just been going ever since, man. So. It all started with the ATL talk. Right? ATL talk, bro. Let First them know. What ATL was it? Talk. Let the, let the hot president know. I was talking know. about, a, you know what I'm saying, somebody getting into a fight, you know, and I was telling about a dude, you know what I'm saying, he running into a fight, but him being scared, he uh-huh. not want to, you know what I'm saying, fight anybody. And it was like this Atlanta talk, Atlanta slang type of thing, you know, and and, and in the South Atlanta, Atlanta slang it's, it's type of thing. Like, you know, I said, "What's going on, Shouty?" You know, I said, "So the, my partner had done, you know, what I'm saying, had done, whoop the whoop, had done turned on the other side, and then, you know, what I'm saying, so, so, like, you know, something like that." But it was like Atlanta talk video, and it went viral, man, and you know, it it was a good thing. It had to be a good sign. Yeah, and it was like, you know, God was like, "This is it, man. This this where you gonna find your purpose at." Yeah. So you know, once I found that purpose, man, it, it was it was everything, man. And that was, were you just like in your living room? Like this was not a big production. I was in a room. It? Yeah, no, no, no. It was You're like in front phone. of shades yeah, or whatever. It was, like, it was my phone. I was, yeah. I was in my room, like literally in my room. And <sighs> it just sparked my mind. I said, I'm going to do this. Boom. And I did it and posted it. And maybe like 10 minutes later, my phone was just, I was like, wait a minute. Like, yeah. You know what, I'm <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It's like some app my friend tells me about. Yeah. And now I'm like blowing up on yeah. it instantly. Yeah. And as I was being consistent on Vine, you know, my fan base was building up, man. And I was just like, okay, wow, um, I may be up to something, you know. But, like, at that time, though, I wasn't taking it as serious mm-hmm. only because I was in college and I was playing sports. Yeah, football, right? Yeah, You're a wide so, receiver. Yeah, I played receiver. At, um, I was at Georgia State, matter of fact, at the time. Moorhead, though, you started, I went to right? Moorhead yeah. twice. I mean, not twice. Twice. You gave it a shot. So I did yeah. two years <laughs> at Moorhead. Uh-huh. And then I transferred to, um, to Georgia State and finished up. Mm-hmm. Um, so once I got to Georgia State, that's when I like really got back onto it. You know what I'm saying? In 2015, once oh. I graduated, okay, that's when I really start back doing it because you know in between, once I was doing football, I wasn't as focused on the social media. 
you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to be, you know, because of sports. So. You th- did you think you're going to the league? Did you get that I did. Far I thought into I was going to the league. I oh, thought really? I was going to the NFL. That's why I was like, you know, I ain't worried about no social media. I'm going to the NFL. Yeah. So, I, you know, I'm going to tell you this here. I just knew the Atlanta Falcons was going to sign me. <laughs> and then, no. Yeah. But the Atlanta Panthers, you got the, the Panthers? Yeah, yeah. You know, Georgia State yeah. Panthers? Yeah. It's yeah. a good consolation. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Well, yeah. I was wondering what was the second vine. So you probably post the first one. You're like, oh, I'm I'm a I'm a prodigy. And then did the second one bomb? I don't know if it. I can't even remember. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you you delete the 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 losses. I, I guess. do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do delete the losses. Um, I don't remember what my second video was. Um, I'm pretty sure I kept it up there just because you know what I'm saying. At that time, because in the beginning stages, it's just like you're just trying to put stuff out there. You're just really trying to find yourself. Yeah. So you don't yeah, know what yeah. the people like just yet. You just really got to be consistent at doing something. Then you can be like, okay, you might did been done like ten videos. And then you can like really say, okay, they like these. What so the what gets response? You yeah, do more of. So now I got to start doing more of this. Gotcha. And gotcha. That's when I like you know found that niche with that. So yeah, it seems. What's impressive about your portfolio, and it is a portfolio, mm-hmm. like be, be between IG and Facebook and YouTube, someone may blow up on one mm-hmm. and they may have a million followers on Instagram and then Facebook, they may have like 5,000 likes. Yeah. All platforms. Most definitely. You're dominating it. Most definitely. That is, that's very rare. Like, How have you been able to achieve like such notoriety across every platform? See, I would say, I would say because of the the content that I do put out, you know, the stuff that I put out, I like to relate. I like to, yeah. Come hey, get, get in the mic there. Yeah, on. I like to relate. This is showbiz, kid. <laughs> this is showbiz. I'm preparing myself. <laughs> but um, I like to relate to the people. Okay. From young kids to the older mm-hmm. people. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do a lot of character work, which involves like family. You know, so I like to involve like, you know, family, you know, relationship problems, uh, family problems and, you know, stuff that people went through, you know, growing up. So like my age range is from like, I would say maybe like 14 and up, but it's probably still some younger people watch it. But, you know, on Facebook, it's the older crowd. Yeah. You know, so I know what they like and I know what they want to see. And it's like Instagram, although I know this what they want to see. And it's like YouTube, they like everything. You know what I'm saying? And Twitter, it's like they can like everything. You know what I'm saying? But Facebook is like really just for the old people. It's not too many young people that's on like Facebook. I mean, you have a few, but young people is more of Instagram. Okay. And it's like I kind of like found the balance, you know, with that, I would say. I mean, I'm still kind of probably not at 100%, but I'm at a good percentage of, you know, with it. So you're maybe creating content you'll only release on Facebook and stuff you'll only release on Instagram? You won't, like, cross-pollinate? Well, now I'm at a point where I make it for all. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody likes the relationship problems. Everybody have a baby mama that they deal with, Mm. you know, from the young to the older. Everybody has the, the bad child, the bad kid. Everybody have a grandmother. Everybody right. have a, a uncle or a granddaddy, you know, they can, they do these things that goes on in my video. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's leveled out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. To a point where I can put it on every platform. But yeah. did that take time to build into? Yeah. Okay. It took some time. Cause you know, I would say like literally like for real, for real, I really just maybe found my, niche and like you know people really start to like get involved more i would say probably what is it 2018 now i would say the beginning of 2017 was really when things really started to pick up pick up you know what, what when i started to see like that change big yeah. numbers uh-huh what was that pivot you think um once you know of course i got with some great actresses you know what i'm saying shout out to b simone and mm-hmm. candace and you know, Nunu and just all the people that I work with. And we all got that chemistry. You know, we all connected well. You know what I'm saying? We we built that and we stayed consistent, you know, and the people started to, to, to love it. You know what I'm saying? How, my vision 
with what I do, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I want a sitcom one day. So yeah. I try to put work in with that so the people can, like, visualize it as, like, a sitcom. And, you know, I get comments like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see this on TV. And it's, like, very inspiring to me. It's cool. like, okay, I'm doing something good that the people love so they can, like, really see it on TV. You know, so that's I'm like, oh, uh-huh. I got something. Yeah. You know, it's just only amount of time, you know what I'm saying? And, your team just staying close and everybody believing that it can happen. Not only me, but them as well. And sharing know? the same vision? Yeah, because it's like, you know, I mean, I can't do it by myself, you know. So, and it's not just about, you know, for me, it's, it's for them too because this can be something big for them as well, mm-hmm. you know. So, that's that's how I look at it. And the people, they love it, you know. I, I it probably, They'd probably freak out if I came in with another girlfriend or, or another baby mama. They were like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> right. This is not, no, you know. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. they... They like what they see. That's like, for example, if Martin brought in another girlfriend and it's not Gina. Man, people be like, what is this? We mm-hmm. want Gina. You know? So that's, it's at a point I feel like it's, it done got, it done sunk into that and people love it. And people love it on social media. And I'm sure you've been in the rooms with very influential people now and powerful people and mm-hmm. people, almost the invisible hand of entertainment and where the tide is headed do you even think TV is the way to go? Oh, man. Um, social media is being so strong, man. And I want to say TV, but so many people is on his phone. Yeah, all the time. I'm talking about with Netflix, with YouTube, with... You even got the, the stuff like HBO and Stars. They got apps for that now. Yeah. So it's like they can still just watch it on their phone. So it's like... I don't know. It's like, because I want to make it to the TV. Okay. And when I make it to the TV, you need to be turning on the TV. (laughs) Don't be on your phone, you know? So, but I don't know, man. Social media is becoming a a real big impact to the world. It's becoming too big, man. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I mean, if that's where it goes, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Because that's, I mean, you're already established there. Yeah, yeah it's so it's building, like man. going to TV. It's almost like okay, now you got to herd them to this, as opposed to sounds like they're already invested. Like YouTube is almost a, is a TV channel most in itself. Definitely. Yeah, especially with the amount of eyeballs you're getting is more than yeah. a lot of TV most shows. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. But is there something just to that? You you just love Martin, and you think the Desi Banks show is like a Martin, so you just want to see it on TV just for like yeah, the mystique man. of it. I, it's I guess it's like a dream, like a you know, it's right. like a big thing to like. Yeah, me growing up watching Martin and being inspired by his shows, and you know, Eddie Murphy being my favorite actor. You know, what I'm saying I want to be able to do some of the things that they did as well, but in right. my way. Not saying I want to be like them, but in a Desi way. You yeah. know what I'm saying so. Yeah. And this, yeah, man. to get these numbers you're getting, a, a, a thing you've harped on a couple times is consistency. Yeah, that's the that's Go the, into more detail ooh, on that. Consistent. I'm talking about like putting out videos. I mean, you can't like, you know, in the beginning stages, you just can't put like one video out a week and just think that's it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them. You got to put like in the beginning, like when it was 15 second videos, like literally, I probably posted like four videos a day. A day. A day. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. until I got to a point, okay, now I can slow down now. They seen me a few times, so now I can drop down to two videos a day. And, you know, here come one minute videos. So now it's like, okay, now I got one minute videos. Now I can do one video a day or two to three videos a week. You know, I, I don't have to put too much pressure on myself. You drop it down to that much? From yeah. From four a day to two a week? You know what I'm saying? Whoa, okay. You know, once you done built that, you know, once you done got to a point where you can like, okay, cool. Now you you have the time to focus on other, you focus on this, but also focus on other things as well as far as like, you know, building on the outside of your brand. You know what I'm saying? Doing things that are going to be able to take you to another level outside of social media What as are well. those kind of things? Like, um, I would say, like, acting, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, going to acting classes and stand-up, you know, being on stages and preparing myself for things like that. Uh, because that is going to be able to give you a whole nother type of, you know what I'm saying? I look at social media now as it's like your foundation, it's your brand. And it's like now... Okay, what else are you gonna do? You just you just gonna do social media, or are you gonna like where are you gonna take your talents to? You know, and so with this platform, when they see me on TV now, these 
millions of people, they're going to go watch me on TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to make you look like, okay, now it's going to be inspiring to the people like, dang, he started from here. Now he there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. how I like look at things. That's why I want to touch that TV platform, you know, being in sitcoms, TV shows, and being in movies and stuff like that, you know, stand up, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. That's the leverage is in those followers. Like, yeah, it is. You see Wild and Out, everybody. It's phenomenal. It's, they all have followers. It's phenomenal. That's the resume yeah, now. Yeah, so <laughs> it's phenomenal, bro. It's, you know, once you get to that level, man, and it's like, once you get to the TV level, it's like, now, okay, you there, but now it's, it's on you now. Now you got to keep your foot in that door now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay consistent at, at working hard. So I, I feel I look like at social media right now, I feel like it's a stepping stone. It's preparing you for some things because once you get to that level, your work ethic got to be on time. It's 10. Boom. <laughs> yes. And you got to be that much more consistent. Oh, man. And yeah. And yeah. then a lot of that, a lot of consistency can come from organization. Most definitely. So how, how does organization play into how you move? Um, I would say focus and, you know, having the correct team, mm -hmm. you know, around you to keep you at a level of, you know, time trying to get to that point. You okay. know, um, of course, I have a, a agent, an acting agent gotcha. that give me these opportunities as far as going in these auditions audition rooms and okay. you know meeting these directors being on set with um you know major producers and directors and you know stuff like that that's going to be able to elevate me to that level um but i would say man getting to that level you got to have a team you can't do it by yourself boom you can't do it by yourself man Crucial. and it can be really tough really really tough by doing it by you know i feel like the social media part you probably have to do that by yourself to build it up? To saying? build it up, you know. Huh. And then once you get to a point, then that's when somebody will come say, okay, he done built something. Let me grab him up, you know. Let me help him out. You know, because you got to help yourself first hmm. before somebody else help you, man. You know, a lot of people think people are just going to come and just, come on, man. But you got to put your work in it, man. They got to be able to trust, to know what they got. Like the person that they they know they gonna, he going to work hard. You know what I'm saying? They know they're going to stay consistent. They know they're going to do these things. So, you know, invest in but you know maybe you get a mindset like you know hey i done built this now i can do the business and i can bring my team in and you know i don't have to like really worry about it. you know that's why i say shout out to like Issa ray you know yeah she yeah, you know yeah. i look at people like that like you know she didn't wait on nobody you know what i'm saying because social media give you a point like you don't have to wait on nobody mm -hmm. you don't man. you could do everything yourself you know what i'm saying so it's, you know, it's a lot that goes in this stuff, man. And as a comedian specifically, that's where, like, all comedians are like, oh, man, how do I go viral? Yeah. How do I blow up? What am I doing wrong? Like, yeah. what are some what are some common mistakes you're seeing comics make in the social media world? Uh, it's the consistency, man. That's the X factor. Because, uh -huh. you know, like you say, like, for, you know, was, once as you keep going, you're going to find... You gonna find a niche, but the thing is to keep going though. See, a lot of people. Well, first you gotta love it. Yes. If you love it, you are gonna keep going. You are gonna. I love this. Like I don't care what the results I get. I don't care. I'm gonna keep going no matter what. I love doing this. And as you keep going, you are gonna find out. You are gonna find out what the world been missing. Like you are gonna find that thing the world love. You know, because it took me some time to really like find my niche. Like. I used to be the point like, dang, like, what can I do consistently? Mm -hmm. And I don't have to do other stuff that's like weird and awkward and you know what I'm saying? Consistency that the people is gonna love. And people, you know, they worry, they're so worried about going viral. But to be honest, it's really they they need to worry about finding that niche. Hmm. You know, find hmm. that niche. Find out what you like to do and not what the people like. That's what they gravitate towards. Yeah. The authenticity. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of your videos that you thought were going to go viral. It don't. It's the opposite, right? It's the op. I'm telling my bro, it, it's so crazy. <laughs> and now I'll be at a point where I'm like, I just, when I post the, I mean, of course I wanted to do good, but it's not up to me. It's up to the people. It's what the people like. But right. I, it, it's like I done done a few things to know what they like. So that's kind of an advantage that I do kind of have. But you got to keep going to like really find that niche though, mm. you know? So when did you feel like, was it, was it a repost or like what, what 
took you from, okay, I'm being consistent. I'm hammering it out until you're like, oh, I found it. When I found, when I, like, when I say, when I start doing stuff with other people, like be Simone and Candace and. That's when it took off. I started to see like the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I couldn't do, I can't, to that level is like, you can't do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm naturally funny, you know, but once you found that team and it's like you find yourself, you find a lot of stuff that's. You know, it's it's like you find the thing that God got for you. You know what oh, I'm saying? So, which is no more dick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm walking to my calling. No more dick. No more dick. <laughs> you know? So yeah, man. Yeah. But that took off. Yeah, that's you know, and yeah. so crazy. When I said that, it just came to my mind. It's just it was popped. improv. It was improv. Whoa. Yeah, that whole thing was improv. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think we said an idea like what we want to do. And she came in already, and uh, you know, I was just something she clicked in my head. I was like, no more dick. And it's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy because in my mind, it was like, don't say that, say that. And it kept going, right, you right. know, no, no, no more dick. Uh, no more dick. No more dick. <laughs> it's like, is no this God's plan? No more yeah. dick. No more <laughs> you know dick. What I'm <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. And before I pause, you know, before we pause, I'm like, ah, it's going to be funny. I don't know if it's going to be funny or not. You know what I'm saying? Dog posted it. Yo, it was crazy. I had like, we had probably had like two to three hundred comments in like six minutes, and I was like, oh yeah, yo, yeah. I Is was that like, the one Fifty Cent jumped on too. Yeah, Fifty one? Cent. Yeah, he um he reposted it. He reposted another um video that we did as well. But yeah, you know, and this is yeah, it was crazy, bro. It was, I was just like, and that's been like a thing, like. Every time somebody see me now, they might be like, no more dick. There's no more dick guy. No more dick. And you're like, it's, it's stuff like that that people don't. It's like you don't write those things down. You can't write that down. Right. Those moments. Like, mm -hmm. you know, even like with Martin, I, I feel like, you know, uh, some of his stuff was improv. Like, for example, like, you know, with Jerome. Jerome in the house. Mm -hmm. I say, he didn't write. I, I'm pretty sure he didn't write that. It He's was just, just character. Yeah, it's just Persona. character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The stuff like that that sticks. I don't think you can write those things. You can't write that stuff, man. It's just meant to be. It's just meant it's to God's be. Plan. It's just God's plan. It's just God's plan, you know? It's just natural, bro. So, yeah. How, what is the most time you've spent on an Instagram video? Because I've I've played around with it a little bit where it's like, oh, it's a 60-second sketch. We'll knock that out. And then it's like three hours later. Oh, and you're like, wait, yeah. what? Yeah. Like, it, it's a production. What's the most time you've spent on one of these videos? Probably like two hours, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like two. I'm talking about like really trying to get the correct take and, mm -hmm. you know, this person got to answer the phone or I got to go do something. Man. It's just, oh, got to edit it down. I don't like to take that out. And, oh, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, but that's like what cutting. See, now, I kind of like made it a little easier for myself. See, now what I do now is to not even work so hard. I just we shoot everything. I, I you know I, I write it down and we shoot everything. No cuts, no nothing. We just mm. we go back and forth right here. So only thing that I'd be cutting is the end and the beginning. And the video is done. I don't yeah. have to worry about cutting it. Cutting it. We gonna get this take right here, and that's gonna be it. And I was like, you know, so because in the beginning I was like, okay, this is a lot of cutting. I'm getting tired of this cutting stuff now. Exactly. I need to make it simple. And, Can't be consistent with that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The cutting, the, oh, oh, man, you'll get tired of that. So yes. I got to the point where I just shoot it out and, you know, you know, found that way. So Yeah, and you found the sustainable. Because that's yeah. a big thing with consistency yeah. is if it's stressful, it's not sustainable. It's not. You know, not you, at all. And, and, and they, it'll, see, it'll show. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Know, <laughs> it'll show and, the, you know, they'll see it. So... <laughs> Yeah. That's what I've learned. I went through a phase. Now I'm just, I'm all in on hot breath. Like I'm yeah. just, I'm just building this yeah. as like a platform. Yeah. And that's, that's my new kind of, that's my new motivation. Most that's definitely. where I'm going to be drawing fans in. Most definitely. I went through a phase on like Joel Byers comedy where I'm like, I'm going to be political. I'm going to use sketches and I'm going to have comments every day about what's happening in the news, <laughs> man. I did about three of like just looking at the camera things and the cutting, and I'm like, no, nah, <laughs> that ain't it. This is not, that, ain't <laughs> it. that ain't it. No more vids. No, no more, more vids. <laughs> <laughs> so I Bad. found it through listening to people that nice. most of my feedback is coming from the podcast and all they learn from it and the cool guests I get on here. So I'm like, oh, like you said, listening to your followers. What do they want? Okay, mm -hmm. give them, flood them with that. Flood it. 
I'm telling you, yeah. f- make them fall in love with it, you know, mm-hmm. inspire them with it, man. And connect with them. Like what I like seeing the most is when I see comments, like when people say, Oh, I went through that, man. I know exactly yes. that feeling, you know, and, Oh, I miss my grandmother, man. I wish my grandmother was still living. It's like, you know, I'm touching them through real life situations. And that's like what my comedy is about. I like to stay relatable. Because to be honest, I feel like everybody done went through somewhat of the same stuff as like growing up and like dealing with like relationship problems, baby mama problems. And, you know, and it's all light to what I do. You know, Mm -hmm. even though I have a baby mama like in my videos, you know, is it's nothing negative, hmm. you know, about the situations. And it's like, it's a lot of people out here, you know, that don't deal with their baby mamas, you know what I'm saying, at, at a certain extent. But it's like, I even see comments where like, him be calling my baby mama, man. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you never know what can, that can lead up to. And they yeah. might be watching the video together even though they, they didn't like each other at the moment, that video might connect them and be like, look at this. Why we can't be like this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? And you never know, that can bring people together, you know? So keeping it focused on the family. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? It's it's really, all my videos really just, it's just love, man. And, and, you know, and just bringing that peace. It's never, it's it's not really ever no negative in none of my videos. I don't pour out the negativity. So that's almost something you put your content through is like a filter is like is is this positive is this about love yeah, it has yeah. to, it has to have that most definitely you gotta connect okay it has to it has to connect in a positive light that the people will love you know it has to and it seems what you've referred to as it has to connect with you first most definitely so it's it, that's so interesting about social media it's almost like the more personal the more universal most definitely Interesting. Most definitely. And most definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the a big key. Yeah. So if you create something and you're not that into it, but you create something to be viral, but you don't care, the audience isn't going to care. No, they're not. The exact opposite. Ugh. No. Create what you want to see. Most definitely. You okay. got to you got to create, you got to feel it in, in your gut that okay, I like this. Like when I do my videos and we do takes, it's like, okay, that's the one. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I feel like that's the one. So I'm going to put this out, you know, and we're going to get the universe to respond to it, you know. So once you feel that connect, okay, that's good. Then you you put that out. You know, I don't I don't try to outdo my other video because sometimes, you know, I can find one. And then I try to t- do another take and it's like I try to outdo that one. But really, that was the one, though. Exactly. You know. And you know in the back of your mind. Yeah. Like, nah, I'll MJ this. Yeah. And you're like, nah, that That's the, the one. initial and you, one. And you usually go with that one that exactly. you say, you know. So Yeah, yeah. 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 And thinking of this connection, we're always like, yeah, I'll just do what my followers want. But it seems like on social media there's also algorithms at play here. Oh yeah. So what is what's what's that world about? It's like you with my algorithm. Of course, you gotta know when to post. Um, and my times are like prime time. I post around it depends on the day. It's so crazy because on Sundays, I post around about 4.35, midday. And do you schedule your posts? Like, do you put them into, like, a scheduler and book, um, put them up ahead of time, you know? It dep- no, 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 no. Not like a no. content calendar? No. Have you heard of people doing that, though? I, I have, yeah. But you don't? No, no, no. Okay. Um, but during the week, I post around 7.15 p.m. During the week. Saturdays, I post at 11.30 in the morning. 11.15, 11.30 in the morning. Not in the evening because Saturdays, everybody is out, mm-hmm. you know? Um and yeah, you know, the algorithm is really based on like your consistency of posting. You know, it 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 very it goes up and down, you know, with the amount of views that you get and the likes and the 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 you know, the comments and you know, the engage that you get with your fans, you know, that it just plays a balance. But a big thing is knowing when to post. And is that through like analytics? Is yeah, anal- analytics it'll show you. Okay. You know, they tell you the best time to post, but it's like I'd have found it, without their analytics analytics i found the best time for me that's that's good and like that's been consistent for me which is 715 you know for the people you know so how did you find that number for yourself are you tracking are you keeping notes of like okay i posted at 6 
uh, this week I posted it at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Did okay. Oh, this week I posted at seven. Did even better. Like, Most you, definitely. You're tracking it's, it's just it like that. Yeah, it's just like that now. Uh huh. And it was at a point where I was posting at like eight thirty nine, which it was cool. Uh, but it'd be like some people will probably be off. Some people probably be sleep. You know. So I'm like, nah, that's probably not not good. So I dropped down to seven fifteen. It's like, it's like that that right. Interesting. That right. You know. <laughs> that right time of the day, you know, some people just got off work, you know, some people may be laying in the bed, some people, I don't, you know, it's that, that right, that right, I feel the like it's that right, spot. that sweet spot, uh-huh. you know, for me, you know, <clears throat> and then it's, it's really, get just some water too, yeah, now. it's you really, some of that Fontas water, <laughs> it's really, um, Knowing your fans' age range as well. Okay. You know, so my biggest range, I would say, is from like uh, 21 to like 25. Is this Instagram? Yeah. You're talking? Okay. But I, you know, I still have like 30, you know, but like the biggest is probably like 21 to 25. That's like my biggest range. And Knowing that they are young people, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So it's like that 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 flat level at seven fifteen is like the the, the thing. The and thing. it's a different. I think that's another good note is knowing who your audience is. So Most your definitely. audience may be seven fifteen. Mm-hmm. My audience may exactly. be comedians that are out at a show at nine p.m. or exactly. something. Just knowing when exactly. that is, yeah. and maybe. A weekend evening, maybe a good time to post a video as maybe a Tuesday morning is better to post like an image or something like that too. Most definitely. And see, uh-huh. with images, I post, it's, a great, it's good that you said it. With images, I post around about, I would say 11 in the morning, 12, you know, okay. those good for images, you know, just some they could just scroll, you know, and just boom, boom, you know, especially in the morning, you know, in the morning, it just depends on what the video is. I mean, people ain't trying to. And then maybe at work, yeah, they can't really listen yeah, to it. They're just scrolling. Yeah, you know, if it's a picture, it's just like, oh, boom, you know, boom. Yeah. They might be at work. They can't listen to it. They can't laugh. They, I didn't say, I'll watch this later and when I get off or something. You know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know it's something like that. So, yeah. Well, what about Facebook? Like, it seems like we're just talking about Instagram. What about Facebook? Facebook is the same. I, I, when I post some on Instagram, I post it all. I post, I go, I actually post it on Twitter first. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. And it, it, you know, it's like crazy. I found the thing too. See, Twitter is like my test. You know, I post it on Twitter first. And if I see Twitter is doing good on Twitter, okay, I know exactly what it's going to do on Instagram. I know exactly what it's going to do on Facebook. I know exactly what it's going to do on YouTube. So if it don't do good on, if it don't give me my good feeling on Twitter, I don't post it. So it's like, it's like a cheat sheet. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what kind of like keep me safe. You know, I post it on Twitter first. Okay, if it's, Say, for example, like 50 retweets in six to seven minutes. That's phenomenal on my Twitter page. You know, so if I see that, it's like, okay, oh, it's going to be a good video on Instagram. I'm not even going to worry about it. Facebook, I know it's going to do good. You know what I'm saying? Uh Now, if it's like 15 retweets in six minutes, ah, I'm not posting that. (laughs) No, I'm not posting that one. You know? But it's like a CC. I mean, you know. That's nice. Yeah. It's like a beta test or whatever. Yeah. Testing. If it's worth going Most definitely. into the sky with. Most definitely. So, it's like, can this get off the runway before that, we throw it off the cliff? There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, Twitter is like that that cheat sheet for me to, like, you know, before I post anything. So How important are captions and all that game? Oh, it's big. That's captions what, are huge. Yeah, because they're, they're looking at the caption before they even watch the video. Interesting. Yeah. So if it, it got to be, it got to pop to the people. It has to pop to the people. So, yeah. How do you make it pop to the people? Um... This is depending on what you're saying. Like what I would say for a okay, baby mama video. Um, when your baby mama steal your money, or it's so keyword when your baby mama whoop your son, or when your baby it just, you know, it can't just be when your baby mama when be you, tripping. It's gotta yeah, be like an action yeah, word yeah, almost. Yeah, like tripping steal, is, yeah. whoop yeah, is what you said. Or, so. Yeah, like take the D. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know they're like, oh, wait, 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 look at that. Wait, what is it? Yeah, that's true. You know, like, it hooks take it in, in, right? Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? <laughs> it's those key words that make him go watch. Uh-huh. You know. Gotcha. So, once that caption pops, okay, boom, I can watch it now. Yeah, it, but it's got to be concise. I see some people do like paragraphs. Do, I don't, does it just yeah. depend on the follow? It just depends depend. on your following. Yeah, I it guess. just depends. Um, yeah, it depends on the following. I mean, I've I've been straight, straight up with my, you know, straight up simple, boom, boom, mm-hmm. post, you know. So, but yeah. with um with a content, um, not limit content length. Instagram sixty seconds. Mm-hmm. What length of video do you find works for like a Facebook? Cause that's got to matter too. Like Facebook, it's a longer video, so mm-hmm. they may be more likely to consume three minutes. While on YouTube, they may consume twenty. Mm-hmm. But is Facebook like a smaller window of time? Have you found? No, it? Facebook is. It can be a minute or more. Well, like what? Uh, what the what the followers like? What will they usually? There's got to be a sweet spot with even the length uh, of the content, right? I just been a minute. You I just do minutes on Facebook. Yeah, whatever I post oh. on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. It's all a minute. Oh. I know they want more, but it's like you get more on some either doing longer stuff, or like you know, being on TV, or right. it's like you just damn. I want to see more, man. Like I want to see you in a movie, man. Like you know, mm-hmm. they want to see you. They want to see you do more. Yeah, but it's like I can do these right now until I okay. I, I feel like they they want to see more, but I feel like. When there's more time, uh, you, it's like you got to do more, if that makes sense. Like in promoting it or? No, nah, I'm just it's like, like with a minute. Okay. Once they laugh at that minute. Ha 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 boom. All right. What do you got? And that, that next minute got to be funny too. And that next minute got to be funny too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm longer, saying? You're thinking in sketches. You know what I'm saying? If it's longer, it, it's got to be. Yeah. I just feel like a minute. I mean, it's good for the people right now, especially with attention spans. Like, yeah. it has to be funny, funny, funny. Keep going. You know, I'm not saying I can't do it, but when when I'm doing that level, I want to be, like, doing, like, sitcom stuff and doing, like, sketch, you know, more sketch stuff and exactly. episodic stuff and, you know, stuff like that. I guess I was just thinking for Hot Breath and how I'll post, like, interview clips. Yeah. And on Instagram, I'll post minute snippets of stuff. But on Facebook, I may do a three to five minute, seven most minute definitely. clip. Most definitely. But that's a little easier to just snip that as opposed to writing a seven mm-hmm. minute sketch. Yeah. It's a completely yeah. different. So yeah. I guess I was thinking in those terms yeah. of just how I can apply your knowledge to helping build hot breath. Mm. Do you have any insight for me, Brother Banks? Do you mm. have any insight for me? Well, see, on the interview side, that can be different, but it's still good that you picture um, your minute clips. Mm. You know, as far as like being on um, Instagram, mm-hmm. um, you do like, you know, have a link in your bio. Yeah, to the full. Yeah, because I the post full. the full interview on YouTube. Yeah, and I'll clip it up for Instagram, and then I've been doing clips for like LinkedIn and um, Facebook, longer mm-hmm. ones. Mm-hmm. But maybe a minute is all they really care about still. Most, most definitely, and I don't think, I don't know if Instagram would get extra time only because of Facebook, and mm-hmm. they like connected with each other. It's like yeah, once you give Instagram this much. Of, much of the time on Facebook, that might kind of like pull some people from Facebook and bring them over to Instagram because Instagram is like really, it's just a big thing. It's, it's really it's the, big. It's the, out of all of them, that's the one that you... Yeah, I think it's very interesting. But, you know, it's crazy. It's on Facebook. They have some interesting stories I like to like watch and look at. It's, it's, it's a lot of stuff that's on there. But it's more, with that stuff, it's more like real life things that's happening. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, with the whole Facebook thing, it's like a like, like a news. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like it, Facebook is more like a news channel. Yeah. Instagram is more like your entertainment yeah. channel. Yeah, you know. Okay, that's an interesting way to even look at cutting up interviews to where maybe more entertaining clips are on Instagram and yeah. the more informative ones are on Facebook. Facebook and yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's what I was yeah. looking for. That kind of sparked me. That kind of helped me out. Yeah, that's even interesting. With, yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was, I saw on your like YouTube, the Desi Banks show. Mm-hmm. That's like, how long is that video? 20? Like uh, 20 minutes? The episode? Yeah, that, the short film. The short film? Yeah, that's like 23 minutes. So did you, oh, for sitcom length, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this, yeah. this guy right here, this guy. You know, you yeah. add the commercials, it's the 30 Thinking minutes. Thinking about it all, yeah, cause that's, that's, that's sitcom yeah, length. Like, yeah, yeah. And I did that. I did that. 
I did that, what, like two years ago? That's, um, and you can tell movie. Nutty Professor is your favorite movie. Yeah, mo- I, That's the jam, right? I know it, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> Yes, bro. Yes. Because <laughs> you're doing all the characters. Yeah, man. And Gosh. I, it's like, when I was doing I'm like, this is what Eddie Murphy went through, man. I'm like, I feel, you know, it, I might not be on the Eddie Murphy level, but I'm like, I can do it. Now you're doing you know, it. When, you know, you're when, doing it, man. You know, so once a big old budget come in and you got some big people want to like invest, it's, you know. Because even so. that looked legit. Like the oh, yeah, production yeah, and all yeah. that. It was good. Very well done. It was good. Yeah. I had fun shooting it, you know. So how important is production quality in a social media post? Oh, it's big. It gotta be clear. You can't shoot with no Android. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. Take that, Androids. It's not gonna if work. If you're watching this on Android, just shut it off because your whole life is shut down. Please. <laughs> Please. Don't I'm sorry. You know. Android it, it's not a no. no. It's just not built. I, iPhones are built for Sh- that. Shoot. Yeah, it, it is. They're built for shooting and editing. Yeah, it is. It is. Androids it is. are built for suckers, I guess. I Even though know. I have an Android. <laughs> I got an. I got a Galaxy S6, actually. Oh, well. I'm waiting on these sponsors to come through, man. I need <laughs> I need an Apple sponsor. Do you guys make one? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. Right. right. Yeah, it's one, one step at a time. Most definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. Patience. Because if, if you can... And that's something important for... Like um, a comedian that maybe is posting sketches and it is on an Android as opposed to an actual like camera, which now people are shooting cameras, shooting skits on like red cams and stuff like yeah, they, DSLRs. Like it's that professional now. Yeah, that's that's oh, that's phenomenal. But it's important, I think, for somebody starting out or just on the hustle and all they have is an Android. Still do oh, that. Oh, still do it. Yeah, don't, don't let that do stop the, you. No, do the reps. Yeah, don't let that stop you. Yes. Yeah, because you never know. They... I know it's a camera, but you probably be funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Don't worry about that. You know, I'm just saying, we just talking about the quality. Exactly. You know, so, mm-hmm. yeah. But use what you got. Yeah, yeah. Because don't let I really stop believe you. if you can do more with less, Most once definitely. you get more, Most definitely. you can do everything. Most definitely. Ooh, I like that quote. Most definitely. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You can do more with less. When yeah. you get more, you can do everything. Most definitely. Or more, do anything. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's the, that's the tagline. He said that. <laughs> yeah, so don't steal it. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I loved in watching. I watched the Desi Banks show and I was because I knew you were a fan of Eddie Murphy and Martin and like Mike Epps and all this. And then seeing this production, I'm like, yo, like I, I knew who you were before before doing this interview, but I always like in-depth research my guests. Mm-hmm. And when I started looking into you, I was like, oh, whoa. Mm. This isn't just somebody who's funny on Instagram. Mm. This is someone who has actually built mm a platform Most really like a media company mm. is what you've done mm. mm-hmm. in a very short amount of time mm. yeah is that what you're seeing in the long term Most it's almost definitely. like a tyler perry studios type deal? oh man i would love that that you see yeah, that though. that's very inspiring i uh-huh. can see that i can i can see it you know i can see it i can see it you know <laughs> but like i said with stuff like that I'm pretty sure, like, you know, Tyler P, he had, like, a team of people that did their team. job, man. And yeah. you got to have that, you know. And God. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget about God, you know. And no more dick. No more dick. Don't forget, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love hearing your interviews. Like, I got to give it up to God. Yeah. And I just keep thinking, no more dick. Yeah, no more dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, everybody got to be doing a job. It's only so much a person can do yeah. by himself because there's so many talented people that's out there. But it's like they need that extra help, man. Like you need that extra. You got it. You need that. Like I don't care. Like you need that, man. You need that team. You need them people. You need that. With people doing their part, you know, everybody mm-hmm. doing their part. What are some tips for comedians, like new and old? Because everybody, you're almost doing the reverse. You you blew up on social media. Mm-hmm. And now you're getting into the stand-up game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a lot of us, you know, I've been doing comedy a little over eight and a half years now. Mm-hmm. I've been working at getting good at stand-up. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, okay, how can I build a following? How mm-hmm. can I let people know about this? What mm-hmm. are some tips you have for comics in that space? Um, I would, you know, from my end point, uh, social media is totally different from the stage. It's a whole different ball game. It's, it's, it's nothing to play with, I would say. Um but if you like if you funny, if you feel like you're funny, 
you know, you can find a niche on the stage and not just be doing it because somebody else said, oh, you got this amount of following, bro. You got to do this. You got to want to do it. It got to be something mm. that you really want to do, man, because there's only one take on that stage. <laughs> you can't cut that now. <laughs> you know, it's, you can't cut it. You can't say, okay, I'm gonna, let's do it again. No, they're going to look at you like, what? Preach, preach. You're supposed to be a f- professional. Right, 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 right. You know, but mm-hmm. you got to know the gifts and talents that God has blessed you with wants to go into that stage now. <sighs> you know. Yeah, you know. What's it, the worst you've bombed? How long have you been doing stand-up? Six months. Have you been booed yet? Or I had people walked out. What's like, the worst bomb? Oh, man. I had people walked out, bro. I was like. Yo, and I, it was like I felt it, but I was like, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. You just muscle through. <laughs> I'm going to wrangle them in. Yeah. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, my God. And that's like, I was like, oh, my. I think because of my approach of what I said, and that like kind of messed up everything from the beginning. And I was like, oh, they didn't like that. <laughs> Do you remember what you said? I think I was talking about where I was in a not so good way and they wasn't feeling it they wasn't feeling it at oh all. like the actual room yeah you're making fun of the room yeah yeah that's a good way to turn people off yeah and i think they're like even if it's 12 people and you're making fun of the 12 yeah. people it's like hey we're here to support yeah. we're not here to ruin your night we're yeah. here to support you and a lot of comics kinda, make that mistake and then it was like okay and it was like oh whatever bye they started then, walking out yeah I, I, I was like i was like mm. <laughs> <laughs> i learned from it though you know, yes. you learn from, I mean, mm-hmm. it's good to go through those type of situations because it, it's like, really, okay, do you, it's like God testing you. Do you want to do this? Because this is part of this, you know? And it's like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I done been through it. You know, I know how that feel. I know how the quiet feel. And I know <laughs> when people not laughing and not interested, I know them feeling. So it's like, yeah. that's fine. Just go find what works, you know, just continue to learn from that because I feel like a lot of the greats done been through situations like that where everybody yeah. has. So oh, dude. I feel like if you don't have a story to tell with that, I mean, if it's just that easy for you, I mean, like, dang, like that's the benchmark question on this podcast. I ask every comic on yeah. here, like, what's your boo story yeah, or what's your worst bomb? Everybody has. Because I feel dude. like I was very like, ugh, I couldn't believe it. You you like depressed after? Yeah, like, I was like know? very depressed, bro. And I'm just like, oh man, this is crazy. And I had to kept reminding myself, man, you funny. I don't care, you funny. Forget you got, what the people you say, believe, bro. You man. funny, bro. Like it yeah. don't matter. It don't matter. You funny. You funny. Don't let this. You know, forget them people. It's like I can't tweet this one out <laughs> yeah, first. Yeah, you know. I gotta do it on stage. You know, so, no retweets, no laughs. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And people was giving me advice after the show, like, look, it's all right, man. Just, you know. Dude, it it's, it's cool, man. You know, it's it's good. It's good. And like I say, once you feel it that one time, it's like, okay. 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 So if it happened again, it's like, oh, okay. I done had some good shows. I done had some okay shows. You know, yeah. I, I know, you know. You so learn to deal with it. Yeah. It's, it's Failure fine. is the best teacher. Yeah, man. It's, yeah. you know, once you don't feel it at one time, it's like, okay, I'm good, man. And if it come again, I know how to deal with it. It'll come again. Yeah. I know I'm not putting you. voodoo on you, no, but no, no, no. we I, all I, I understand. Yeah, man. So it's like... <laughs> Yeah, and that wasn't the only time. That wasn't the one. It's been plenty of times. I don't, have, I don't want the room. It's like quiet, and I haven't got what, you know, I hear. Say, Joe, you know, hit him with a pun like, bah. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. Huh? And they like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't had those. But, in, but <clears throat> when somebody had told me before, because I used to be like, hey, this joke didn't work here, but it, it went good here. Yes. You know, it's like, don't take it away. It's just some stuff. Just You just got to figure out what work. And that's like, you know, knowing the crowds. Yes. That's a big thing. Like, before you go up, see who's in the room. Like, watch, you know, see what's, hmm, who's in here. Yeah, like, what else know, are the they laughing kid. at? The yeah. comic before you, what are they getting laughs yeah. on? What and, style do they like? Yeah, like, and it's it's so much. See, it's so much so with stand-up much. that you have to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, it's There's a, an algorithm. You, oh, man, you got to learn that stuff. And yep. that's the process of everything, like. I'm going through that process right now, figuring, I'm still figuring that, figuring everything out right now. So and just like you said with social media, it's got to be something you want to do. You got to want to do because, it. Because, or yeah. the work won't be worth yeah. it. You got to want to do stand it. up. Yeah. You see people with that hour special, you didn't see the 20 hours of failure behind that special. Exactly. That's it, straight up. Oh man. <laughs> Cause, oh my God. Jesus Christ. Goodness. 
That I was special. I, it looked good, but I know they went through so much yeah. just to get to that point. Yeah, you you're, know? you're doing all the right things, man. So like you, you're building it up. It seems like you're you're giving the proper attention to everything along the way. You're Most definitely building it incrementally, and that's yeah. going to be that strong foundation. Yeah, eventually everything will be here on, on the same level. Yeah, you know, I believe you, it, dude. Yeah, and I, I I've been a fan <laughs> of you and your work. I can tell just from the amount of content you're putting out. The work ethic is there, mm -hmm. and you're clearly talented. But then to look at it's literally it's a portfolio of your body of work mm -hmm. and have been able to translate into doing films in Africa yeah. at 25. And then you get uh, recognized in Africa. Oh, it was crazy. Which you're just like, won't he Yo, do I it? I couldn't believe it. Dude. Yo, I couldn't <laughs> believe that. That was like, that was like the light of that whole like trip, like knowing people know you in Africa. What'd they say to you? Like I was eating and the girl came up to me and she was like, oh my God, you, you the boy from Instagram. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm 16 and a half hours over the wall. Right. Not even, you know, driving. I'm talking about <laughs> on the other side. Uh-huh. Like, what? Yeah. This is crazy. You know, that was like real inspiring. It's like, that's how like, you know, I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Like when you can connect with people across the world, it's that's that's it's like if you give up, you giving up on so many people. It's like, dang, like. He don't do like you. Meet, you make people days. You inspire people, help others chase their dreams. You know, help people find out what they love to do, and, that, and that's the beauty of it. Like that's the purpose of you know why I do what I do. So mm -hmm. yeah, man, it's to actually inspire. You, yeah, it's not just about entertaining. We no, also want to man. inspire. People. It, yeah, inspiring people, man, motivating people because you know I do. You know, even though like you said, they don't see the. They just see the video. They don't know what we go through on the other mm -hmm. side. You know, this the the pressure that you're on and the, how you got to keep pushing through this stuff to keep feeding the people, you know, because it's not about you. It's really now it's about the people now. It's crucial, it seems. Yeah. Listen to what they want and give them more. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like in the <laughs> – and you, you're you getting recognized in Africa is shooting a film over there. <laughs> it's It just seems like – there are no boundaries anymore in terms of entertainment. And that's where TV, there can almost, TV almost creates like a box and oh, you get yeah. stuck within that box. Yeah. But the internet has, it's, it's infinite. It it's, seems. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's infinite. It, it, it's beyond. It's like, it's, you don't have to wait. Yes. You don't have to wait anymore. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like, you can create your own short films. You can create your own movie. Cause I, it's okay. I, I can't remember who I was watching, but he, he was in an interview. I can't think of the actor name. You know, they was talking about. You know, people say they want to. Do you want to be an actor, or you you, you just want to act? You know, and it. You know, what I'm saying like, what do you want to do? Okay, you say you want to be an actor. Okay, well, create your own stuff. Then you will be an actor, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you want the fame, and you want to be on that level. It, it's, it's, it's like, what do you want? Like, yeah. what is it that you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if you, we can create a short film, we we acting, but it's really the fame. It's really that big thing that exactly. people are chasing. I think having clarity in your goals is crucial, <laughs> yeah. so you know where you're headed. Most definitely. Some people are like, oh, I want to, I want to go to Instagram, get a million followers. <sighs> okay, why? Yeah. What do you want to do with them? Most definitely. You What's gotta have a reason? plan. You gotta have a plan. Yeah. And once you find that, that's another thing. Once you find that plan, it's like everything will continue to grow as well. Oh. Yeah. Well, you actually write down your plan. Most like definitely. You, physically... you have to write the goals down. Oh. Okay. I write goals down. Like it's like now, like the platform that I have on the mindset that I have, the platform I have on Instagram is for everything on the outside. It's for movies. It's for TV. It's for the next level stuff. It's for people to come to my shows, you know. It's now Instagram is just a platform for me, you mm -hmm. know. It's for my supporters. I want I want my supporters to to be inspired of, of me going to the next level. I want them to see that, man. I I I, that, I gotta I, I want to get to another level, just to show them how how God works, mm. you know. And He can do it if you believe, but you gotta believe He can do it, you know. And having goals, I've heard people almost. They'll visualize them or they'll write them down every day or they will actually take time to write down their goals and then just let them almost 
let them almost ferment and come to life and you can physically see them before they actually happen. Most definitely because I don't written out a, a few goals that, that has, once I focused on them, it, it came to pass. Hmm. And it's it's like you really have to be focused on what you you written. I think success is focus is a big part of being successful as well, and knowing what you, what it is that you really want to do. And once you focus in on that, and you find purpose in that, and you be consistent in that, eventually you're gonna get what you what you written down. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it's gonna come to pass. You know. I'm very spiritual because you know that God promised us these things. You know, we written on a pay. We okay. This this the goal is really I feel like you know it's, it's a sheet for God, but we still got to do our part as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we just can't rely on God to do everything. You know, people pray to these things and they say, "All right, God, we went on you doing. You just sit back and just wait on God." No, you got to put in your work. You got to you got to you know once God see you doing that, that's when He gonna elevate you. He gonna give you the strength to like keep going. Do you put timelines on your goals? Like I want to no, achieve this I, by this oh, time. I um like how I write my goals. I do them yearly, so I, okay. I want I want to accomplish these things this year. So I don't I don't know when it's going to happen. I just know in between this year, these goals are going to happen. So, so what's what's on the uh, goal list for 2018? Uh, one of my biggest goals is to be on TV. Yeah. And how specifically though? Like you want to be a TV show? You want to be on a talk show? Like. How do you do you um, how clear is film. this goal? Yeah, film. Either, 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 yeah, either it's a, a TV show or it's a, a movie. Okay. That's You're acting a, though. You'll yeah, be acting. An actor yeah, on TV. acting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this your TV show or just, um just TV? Just I have however, yeah, just yeah, however. Out. Yeah. I wanna I wanna be on TV 2018. That's yeah. the big goal. That's my biggest goal right now. Okay. That yeah. Well, I have I have zero doubt, my man, it's going to happen. So, yeah. You've you've been such a thrill to have on this show, Most and definitely. it's it's really been an honor to be able to capture this moment in I your career. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I know you're very busy, and the fact you're willing to sit down with the hot breath of earth. Oh yeah, man, I enjoyed yeah. it, man. Appreciate, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks for so, having me. Before we get out of here, man, mm-hmm. is there anything else you want the world to know? Um, I would just say, man, hey, find your purpose in life, man. Find out what it is that you really want to do, and Stay consistent with it and make sure it, it brings a positive light to the world. Yeah. Let him use you. Let him use you. Desi Banks. My thanks man. for being on Hot Breath, my man. Thanks, bro. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Great job, man. Thanks, bro. Woo. Yeah. That was awesome.